Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another video. Do not mind my appearance. We are here with a very chill kind of like weekly vlog that's kind of like a mid-month check-in. It's kind of like a I'm getting back on track with my life video. I have been feeling in such a rut lately. I haven't been eating well. I haven't been drinking the amount of water that I usually like to drink. I haven't been working out. I haven't been sleeping properly. I've just been feeling very ugh. And the last time I felt like this was August of 2022 when I did my first ever monthly reset video, which I will link up here. I literally just rewatched it to give myself some inspiration and motivation. And oh my God, it was such a cute video to watch back and I feel very proud of myself for where I've got to since that time in my life. I also look very young and very different and it's very crazy to look back on, which is why I love creating videos so much because I love looking back on previous experiences, previous memories and previous like thoughts and feelings I was having that I may not have remembered if I hadn't captured them. Um, which is why I'm coming on to talk to the camera today because I haven't really felt like content creating at the minute and that is because I've hit a massive slump. In the middle of October I hosted my third round of the Magical Hopathon which is a Disney theme park inspired readathon that I do every year. I hosted my third round in October, I read six books in a week, I was reading so much, I was having the best time and it was truly one of the best readathons I've done and then it all came crashing down when I hit a slump and I think that reading slump then also turned into a major life slump and that is why for the last couple of weeks I haven't really done anything. I cannot believe it's the November 20th, we're 10 days away from December. I just feel like I need to get my life back on track before the end of the year just so I don't go into 2024 still feeling like I'm currently feeling which is very lethargic, very tired, very unmotivated, very kind of like flumpy, very kind of like lost, no direction. So I am reattempting. this is my third attempt of the 30 day soft challenge. If you didn't know, there is a challenge that goes around on the internet called the 75 hard challenge, where you have to do a certain set of tasks every single day, like daily habits for 75 days straight, but they're quite tough challenges. They're like working out 45 minutes, walking for 45 minutes, drinking three liters of water. It's quite an intense challenge. Someone that I follow called Georgia Richards ended up doing a version of that called the 30 day soft challenge. And ever since then, I have loved doing these as a little mini reset. So I'm bringing it back for the third time. I have tweaked it, it's very much catered to me. So this is what this kind of video is. I'm going to take you guys along on me getting back on track with my entire life. The daily habits I'm going to be trying to complete over the next 30 days. And FYI, this challenge starting today, November 20th, will leave me finished on the 17th of December which is the week of Christmas so it's perfect timing so I'm very very excited to smash the next 30 days leading up to the festive week and just being able to then be like yeah you know what I'm in a really good headspace I feel really good about myself and I'm ready to enjoy the festive season for what it is and then ready for 2024 I can get back on track so my daily habits for the next 30 days are as follow I'll put the template up on screen I created it myself obviously inspired by Georgia Richards but 100% created myself this time around with all the habits and daily prompts catered to me and my specific needs of what I need out of this 30 day challenge. So the first one is to wake up by 5.30, which is great in concept, but because I've been having a really bad sleeping schedule, I've been going to bed a lot later, which doesn't help getting up early in the morning. So even today, the first day of the challenge, I didn't get up until 6 a.m., but you know what? It doesn't mean that I failed, it just means that I need to work on getting my sleeping schedule back on track. So the first one is getting up at 5.30 in the morning every day. I haven't done that today, but it's fine. Tomorrow is a new day. I'm not going to count today as a fail just because I didn't get up half hour earlier than I meant to. The next one is to move my body for 20 minutes. 20 minutes doesn't seem a lot, but because I haven't been working out for the last like two weeks, I don't wanna force myself to do 45 minutes or even 30 minutes every day when I haven't been working out at all. 20 minutes is better than nothing and I need to get better in thinking of that mentality of doing something is better than nothing rather than doing nothing at all. So move my body for 20 minutes. At the minute, it's getting on my bike. The next one is to drink two bottles of water, which I have already done for the day. Tick, tick, yes, yes. Um, it it's not two litres, it's just two bottles, just to know that I've done a bottle in the morning, bottle in the afternoon, if I drink more, great, which I probably will do, but two minimum bottles of water a day. The next one is to write down three things I'm grateful for each day. I love journaling, I love kind of writing down my daily entries, but sometimes I find it really overwhelming on where to start with journaling. So I thought if I just do three things I'm grateful for every day, it'll be my little way of journaling every day without having this overwhelming task of kind of like, 
writing down like a whole page of things that have happened in the day when I don't really feel like it. So that's kind of like my journal prompt is to write through things I'm grateful for every day. My next one is my one line a day. I have a kind of massive notebook of a one line every single day for five years. It looks like this is a five year journal with a one line every single day for five years. And I absolutely love filling it in. I'm onto my second year and I just need to keep on top of it. So that is one of my must do's each day. The next one is to help try and conquer my reading slump because it is the 20th of November and I haven't read a single thing this month and that is to read one chapter a day. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> um, so I haven't read anything this entire month. I have tried. I have started Finale by Giselle Garba. I got about 30 pages in. I haven't picked up since. I started The Secret Society of Irregular Witches got about 30 pages in, haven't finished it. I even went to my absolute favourite, Olive by Emma Gannon, and I haven't finished it. That's how much of a reading slump I've been in. I have not finished this book. However, because I'm tabbing that one up and writing in it and it takes quite a lot of willpower and motivation to pick that one up and write in it because it is a hardback and I haven't really felt like wanting to do that, I have started a new book. X's and O's by Amy Lee and I read one chapter yesterday and I felt so proud of myself. I felt so accomplished. So the next task every single day is to read at least one chapter. Hopefully over the next 30 days that one chapter will turn into my regular 50 to 100 pages but I'm starting off steady. I'm starting off slow. I'm basically starting from the ground up one chapter a day. And then finally my last one is to be in bed by 10 p.m. I would usually have this earlier. I would be like nine o'clock, 9.30. However, it is coming up to the end of the year. The best TV is on at the minute and I'm a Celebrity has just started. If you don't know, I'm a Celebrity is one of my favourite reality TV shows. I absolutely love it. But not only that, it's this year. It's one of my favourite band. <laughs> one of the members is in it. Marvin Humes from JLS is in it this year. Ah, Chung Tai. And I cannot not watch it. However, last night was the first episode and it didn't finish until 10.45, which is obviously why I didn't then wake up until 6am today. I will not be missing a single episode of I'm a Celebrity. However, I do need to get my sleeping schedule back on track. Although I've put down that I want to be up by 5.30 and in bed by 10, it may kind of differ due to I'm a Celebrity timing. Sometimes it will finish at 10, sometimes it will finish at 10.30. So yes, it's gonna be tricky doing this challenge with as much good TV on at the minute as there is because obviously it's winter and all the good TV is starting. Bake Off, Strictly, I'm a Celeb. I also watch Survivor. So there's a lot of TV going on at the minute, which is probably why I'm not reading as much, but hey ho, we are here. So those are my prompts for the 30 day soft challenge. Today, November 20th is day one that's day two, day one, um, and so far it's going very well. I've been very productive, I felt a lot better, I felt well mentally, so I'm really excited to see what the next 30 days has in store for me. I'm gonna take you along on this first week to kind of really motivate myself to stay on track, to keep it documented, to keep myself accountable, and then hopefully I will continue updating you during my usual weekly reading vlogs because in a week's time, by reading one chapter a day, I'll be back to reading fully and I'll be absolutely smashing life. So that's where we're at, I'll keep you posted, and happy Monday. I have now finished work, the Christmas lights are on, our candles, fake candles, artificial candles are on. So Christmassy in here, I am prepping dinner ready for when Mark gets home. We're going healthy tonight because, pause the music quickly, going healthy tonight because obviously I'm trying to get back on track. Why is the lighting so yellow in here? I can't wait until our kitchen is renoed. Hopefully that is a 2024 thing. So I'll obviously take you along on that when it starts to happen but we are completely ripping out this kitchen and making it nice and white and fresh and modern and I'm very very excited but deal with the awful orange cupboards for now although the lighting has got a bit better which is great so healthy dinner tonight we have got fish cakes from the famous Tesco I have just boiled some potatoes they are going to turn into sauteed potatoes so I'm going to fry them in the pan and then do a little veggie stir fry with carrots, courgette and some red pepper. I'm feeling motivated and rejuvenated and it is crazy how much a couple of days can just help getting back on routine when you do really just focus on yourself so yes so far so good in terms of like a day one update let me set you down in terms of a day one update let me get my little template out i have obviously not woken up by 5 30 which i spoke about earlier i have moved for 20 minutes a tick i have drunk two bottles of water i'm on my third 
I've done one thing I'm grateful for. Um, I was doing some Christmas shopping on my lunch break today. So I was just thinking in the car how grateful I was that my car is up and running now. If you're watching my weekly vlogs a couple of months ago now, you know I had some real, real car issues and it was really stressing me out. Um, so my car is now all sorted. I got the part fixed and thankfully that part actually fixed my car, which I'm so very grateful for. So just being able to drive my car without constant like stress is so nice. So I wrote that down as one of my gratitudes for the day. I haven't done my one line a day I like leaving that until the last moment I haven't read anything yet but when dinner is in the oven I probably will read my one chapter before Mark gets home and then bed by 10 won't be doable tonight because I'm a celebrity is on until 10 30 I probably should just had like a good bedtime routine down as one of my habits rather than bed by 10 because obviously I'm a celeb is going to prevent me from getting to bed by 10 probably all week until we start cutting down some celebs and it does nine till ten but yes that's day one update I'm excited for dinner I'm excited to chill out and yeah so far so good <laughs> Tuesday I just got home from work so I thought we'd do a little bit of a daily catch-up so yesterday I did manage to complete my list bar the getting up at 5 30 and going to bed by 10 30 because I'm a celeb was on until 10 45 but it's fine this morning I did get up at 5 a.m and I did my workout and yesterday I did also manage to get to page 32 of X and O's by reading two chapters so maybe tonight I'll try and read three chapters just to kind of like keep the momentum going and keep trying to like chisel where this book because one thing I don't like about when I read books slowly is I feel like I feel really disconnected to the story no matter how much I'm enjoying it if I read it too slowly I do start to feel disconnected so I don't want to kind of like read this book over too long of a period so maybe I can try and read three chapters today but that was my to-do list done yesterday minus the wake up and 10 p.m. Woke up at five o'clock this morning, did a 20 minute strength workout because I have a bit of saddle sore from going on my bike. So I did a 20 minute strength workout, which worked out perfectly. I have not completed my two bottles yet, but this is my second. I know you have about that much left, so that would be good. I haven't done my one line a day because it's not the end of the day yet. I haven't done my gratitude because it's not the end of the day yet. I obviously haven't read my chapters because I have just got home from work. And what else is on my... Yeah, that's everything off my list. I just had to get my phone and check. So doing well for the second day as well. So we're getting there. We're feeling productive. We're feeling way better. And yeah, I feel very motiv motivated by doing this challenge. Mark is downstairs cooking dinner for us. It's shishuka with garlic bread. Nice and yummy. I'm sure we'll have some sort of dessert of mince pies or some heroes because it is the lead up to Christmas. We do have Christmassy snacks and things in the house. Um, and I'm just going to get changed into my PJs, have dinner, chill out with Mark for a bit, catch up on deal or no deal because that is back and we are are obsessed me and mark both watched it back in the day and i am so happy that it's back i'm very very excited so probably watch that and then i'll probably read for a bit and then it's be time for i'm a celebrity again so a very very similar day to yesterday but that is going to be what my whole week consists of because i do want to get back on track with everything so i'm going to try and keep my routine as consistent as possible just to try and help me stay on track so cheers go drink some water if you haven't drunk some in a while and let's smash the evening together christmas pjs and even Christmas Santa socks. <laughs> Before it was time for I'm a Celebrity, I went up to the office to do some journaling to make sure my one line a day and my gratitude and everything was done. But before I do any of that, I always go into my planner, make sure my to-do list is up to date, like things are ticked off that I've done, things are added for the next day to make sure I get them done and also filling out my habit tracker. <laughs> And then we move on to filling out my one line a day. I absolutely love this journal. I love randomly flicking to random days and seeing what I've got up to. And especially when you fill out 
the current year and reading back on what you're doing on the exact same day the year before I absolutely love this journal I tend to fill out this little section with anything that's happened during a day that's noteworthy maybe it was a beautiful sunrise maybe I went to a concert and saw someone I absolutely loved what my thoughts and feelings or it could have just been something I'm grateful for something that maybe like put me down something that I did it could be absolutely anything it could be a quote like I just love filling out these journals and just seeing how I progress over five years and seeing where I've come from and where I'm at and it's just a fascinating way to journal if you don't want to like fill out an entire journal and you just want to capture something I do highly recommend these five year journals because they just allow you to capture something every day and it's just an incredible way to document some memories of yours. last journal I need to fill in is my random a collection of random things I keep in this notebook this is just a complete random array of things um, and this journal is purely just to keep me accountable for my first day soft challenge it's not usually something I gravitate towards on a daily basis I just created some bullet journal inspired spreads to keep me on track for my first day soft challenge and this is where I'm writing my gratitude down for each day which is one of the prompts on my daily habit list if you want to call it that and um, so I was just writing a few things I was grateful for that day on this particular day I was grateful for having a stable job especially in this economy a warm house being able to afford to put the heating on um, and keep warm and also just a nice fun one laughing with Mark on the sofa was a really nice end to the evening that day I forgot Bake Off is starting in like T minus five minutes so I'm gonna have to read my chapter whilst the ad breaks are on because otherwise I'm not going to get my chapter done today because then I'll see straight after Bake Off is 9pm and that is when I'm a celebrity starts and then I'm a celebrity goes on until 10.15 tonight and then I'll be like tired. I love the winter because you can cosy up with a cup of tea on your sofa with your candy cane cushions and Christmas PJs but there's so much good TV that I can't do anything else. Like all I want to do is watch the good TV and not read anything which is probably why I've hit a slump but yeah that's that's the plan the kettle's on i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea watch bake off read in the ad breaks watch i'm a celebrity and then go to sleep so tuesday has been a success i've just finished doing my journaling for today and yeah happy days happy days <laughs> Wednesday, uh, my last full day at work today, just got back from having dinner with mum, hence the uh, messy hair, because tomorrow I work a half day because I'm going to a concert in the evening and then I work half day Friday to recover from the concert in the morning. So yes, last full day of work for the week, which is very, very exciting. Day three of the 30 day soft challenge. I need to sit down now before I'm a celeb starts in 45 minutes to do a bit of journaling. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> But in terms of a day three update, I did wake up at five again. I did my 20 minute spin, which is great. I have no more saddle sore, which is a brilliant, I hate that feeling. I have almost drunk two, two bottles of water. I think have a little bit left to go. I haven't read my chapter for the day. I haven't done my one line or my gratitude, which I'm about to do now. Um, and I will be in bed by 10 because I'm still actually finishes at 10 today. So yay, yay, yay. We'll have another successful day. <laughs> go 
relax with Mark now because I haven't seen him all leaving because I've been with my mum um, and then get ready for I'm a slow. I'm just going to put my hoodie on and then yeah ready for a cozy evening and I do need to read some of my book. I am, what am I on page? 42 i am flying through this book um i'm enjoying it but obviously i can't i don't have really anything to say because i haven't really got that far into it at all but that's fine i'm trying to take it easy i'm not trying to overwhelm myself as i keep saying but it's one of those things where because i'm so used to reading quickly and finishing books in like three four five days that having only read 40 pages in three days is semi stressful 40 pages in two days 40 pages in two days no, so I read some on Sunday, 40 pages in three days. Um, it's just a little bit <laughs> stressful because I'm so used to finishing books quickly and I do feel very detached from the book because I'm reading it so slowly. So I'm hoping now Mark's busy watching YouTube and I can settle down and read a chunk of it. Um, obviously, I didn't read three chapters yesterday. I literally read a chapter and these chapters are so short. It's not even like I get far through the book before the chapter ends. Each chapter is only like 10 pages, but this book basically follows. Our main character, Tara, who is a book Instagrammer, book influencer. She does book videos on the internet. And her sister is Crystal, who is a fitness influencer, who's in the first book, Set On You, which I have read. And she ends up moving out. So in the end of the first book, not a spoiler, um, Crystal and Tara live together. And so at the beginning of this book, Tara is moving out with Crystal's boyfriend, who you meet in the first book colleague who's also a firefighter it's like old roommate if that makes sense so it's basically crystal's fiance's old roommate now lives with tara in the flat next door and it's basically close proximity um romance i'm assuming they get together and he's kind of like a bad boy one night stand sort of person and she's very much like looking for love that features in a romance novel because she is a romance reader and yeah, it's interesting so far. Uh, it's cute. It's easy to read. There's no complaints, but I'm not feeling connected to the story at all because obviously I'm only like 40 pages in. So hopefully I can get a little bit read now before I'm a celeb. But yes, that is day three of soft, like day soft done and I will keep you posted. <laughs> Last night was my concert and I'm just going to say they have held the top spot for the best concert I've ever been to. I saw them in 2016 and it is truly one of the best concerts I went to and I was like maybe that's because I was a very different person back then um I drank back then like I had alcohol so I was a little bit tipsy then so I thought maybe it was just like the vibe but the vibes yesterday once again were immaculate it was absolutely incredible my ears are still ringing um I feel like my voice sounds a little bit croaky because it's such a different experience to a JLS concert if you've been to a JLS concert it's very kind of like tame but also very uh, like attention seeking I guess because you're kind of pining for the members attention on stage you want a lot of stage love and I don't know whether that's clearly just the JLS culture of the fan base but I feel like it's very much like that and it's very it's a very different vibe there's more collective mix of people at a Somerset concert and everyone literally is just there to have a good time and um, there's less filming it's more living in the moment they, because they're such a small band, they came down off the stage onto the main floor and sung within the crowd and it truly, once again, was one of the best concerts I've ever been to and I'm now wearing their tour merch and I'm just feeling very, very grateful that I got to see them again because I saw them in 2016, like I said, and then I want to say six months to a year later they announced their breakup and they broke up and they weren't together and they weren't producing music for about seven years until they announced their reunion in 2021, maybe? 2022, 2021, maybe? Um, something like that, the early 2020s. <laughs> and I was so happy that they got back together and I never thought I would be able to replicate the experience of that 2016 concert again and yesterday I lived my best life and it was absolutely incredible. So on that note I didn't really get much stuff done yesterday in terms of my daily prompts because I was out of the house from like five o'clock till one o'clock in the morning because they didn't actually finish their set until 11 p.m. I left like a minute before their last song finished just so I could like get ahead of the crowd and make sure that I got my second to last train home. I didn't want to have the fiasco of what happened at the JLS concert. I didn't want a repeat of like not being able to get home. So I just kind of gave myself plenty of time to get back to the train station. Um, so I was out for a very long time. But in terms of my to-do list, daily like habit things, I did wake up by 
the... No, I didn't. I slept until six, <laughs> so I didn't do that one. I did move for 20 minutes. Um, I did drink two bottles of water before I even left for the concert because I knew that as soon as I got out um, of the house, I wouldn't have enough water for the rest of the evening. So I made sure I got my two bottles in before I left for the house, which I did. I didn't do my three things I'm grateful for, but I'm going to do them now. And I'm also going to do my one line a day now. Um, I didn't read and I definitely didn't get to bed by 10. <laughs> so a very average day yesterday. This is going to be the last day of the vlog because I feel like I've rambled quite a lot in this vlog. Um, so I'm going to just cut it to a Monday to Friday situation. But just to let you know, I am very much feeling back to myself, feeling back to wanting to be productive, wanting to be motivated. The one thing that is still lacking in my daily routine is my reading. I'm still not reading. I'm still only 40 pages into this book and I'm just not excited to read at the minute. And this slump has been going on for about a month. I would love to get some more books read by the end of the year, but I also don't want to pressure myself into reading if it's not kind of where I'm at mentally at the minute. So we're just going to see how that one goes. I'm going to keep trying to read my chapter a day, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's not the end of the world. Um, so that's that. I'm going to do my journaling now and then I'll take you along on my plans for the day and then I'll sign off at the end of today. But in terms of today, I definitely didn't wake up by five o'clock. 5 30 because i got home so late so i woke up about seven i can't believe my ears are still ringing i think that's probably why i sound like i'm talking weirdly my ears definitely still ring in this one i was right by the speaker and because jess really plays the drums it was a loud beat yesterday which was absolutely incredible but yeah so i didn't wake up at 5 30 and I haven't done my exercise yet today. What I'm going to do instead is go for a walk on my lunch break. So I am working this afternoon. I've took the morning off work, thank God. So I'm starting work from the afternoon onwards after my lunch break. Um, so I'm gonna go for a walk on my lunch break and get some fresh air because it's a really nice day outside, nice autumn crisp blue sky day. So I'm gonna go for a walk for my 20 minute move today, get my steps in, and then hopefully I'll just continue on normal. Hopefully I'll read a little bit. Hopefully I'll definitely be in bed by 10 unless I'm a celebrity tells me otherwise. Um, so that's kind of like the plans for the day. So yes, I'm just gonna finish getting a set up for the day, sort out all the bits and bobs of my computer and my bullet journal and my planner and my one line of days, etc, etc. And I'll keep you posted. So it looks like I've been crying. I have because I just watched a really heartbreaking reel about Matthew Perry's death and I'm clearly still not over it. But i am turned the camera on because I need to motivate myself to go for a walk. I am so cosy in my dressing gown, but I'm soon to be starting work. So I need to get out and get some fresh air. I think what I'm gonna do is walk to the shops and get myself some chocolate. I don't know, I just feel like I need it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Give myself like a focal point to the walk, walk to the shops, grab some chocolate, walk back and probably start work. So yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera on because now I've said that I'm gonna do that, I have to do that. So let's go. cold out there i did treat myself to a kinder bueno i'm not actually sure if i'm gonna eat it or not i got to the shop and was like i'm not really fancying chocolate anymore but i've got it in case i do fancy it um i am so tired i might make some lunch have a quick like 30 minute power nap before i start work but yeah i'm feeling the effects of last night now i am shattered but i've got my 20 minute movement in gone for some fresh air so feeling good we'll get there We'll do another day. Hopefully I can read at some point today, but you know what? I'm really just not feeling reading at the minute. I think I might try a different book next week. So my plans for next week is to do a whole different like themed vlog centered around reading. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Happy Sunday. I haven't vlogged in quite a while. And that is because I haven't really done my 30 day soft yesterday, Saturday or today. I've done like the usual things, but I haven't really like focused on it which I think taking weekends off might actually be the way to go. Like I said, right at the beginning of this vlog, this is a very kind of like up and down, 30 days off challenge. I didn't want to force myself into it too much because I have been in such a life slump. I didn't want to like go out the gates like really strong and then completely flop, which I do kind of feel like I'm doing. So Monday is a fresh start, tomorrow is a fresh start. I'm going to get back on the bandwagon, but this weekend really hasn't been it. However, on Friday, just to quickly wrap up this vlog, on Friday, did I wake up by 5.30? I don't think I did wake up by 5.30. Um, I didn't, I did move for 20 minutes. I went out and got my fresh air. I got my chocolate bar. And then I did drink two, two bottles of water. I did my three things I'm grateful for. Oh no, maybe I didn't. 
I don't think I did my three things in grade four. I didn't read one chapter. I didn't do my one line a day. Um, and I didn't get to bed by 10.30. So Friday evening was when I started to fall off the bandwagon and not be consistent for the rest of the weekend. But I'm ready to have a fresh start on Monday. However, starting tomorrow, I'm going to attempt to get back into reading fully. Now I feel like I'm slowly getting the other parts of my life back on track. I'm slowly like getting up earlier. I'm slowly trying to get to bed earlier. I'm definitely slowly getting back into working out. So I feel like a lot, a lot of my other routines are slowly kind of like fitting back into place where they should be. The one thing left to fit back into the puzzle of life is my reading little puzzle piece. Um, and that is still kind of very much not in the puzzle. So next week I'm gonna really try and focus on reading. And I, as a little sneak peek, going to be trying to read as many Christmas books as possible over the next two weeks. It will be a two week reading vlog just because I am at a slower pace of reading in a minute and I don't want to force myself to try and read so many books in a certain week. So I'm just going to like take it easy but I have quite a few Christmas books I want to read with the lead up to Christmas and fun story I'm not going to be doing your typical December TBR because I'm going to spend December mood reading because I have been slacking with reading so much I don't want to put pressure on myself to read a certain pile of books I'm just going to kind of like see what I fancy so that's kind of where we're at in terms of this challenge my reading life etc but hopefully the reading vlog that I have planned comes out nice and festive um, I'm planning on reading at least four Christmas books in that vlog so stay tuned for that and without further ado I'll see you very soon in another video I'm not sure when it's going to be but hopefully it's going to be soon if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below it really 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 does support my channel and I know I've been lacking in content recently so all your support I massively appreciate if you got to the end of this vlog leave some Christmas tree emojis down below in the spirit of the Christmas season and me trying to read as many Christmas books as possible next week fingers crossed anyway and yeah let me know how you're all doing in the comments because I miss you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye guys Music